Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm not an audiophile, but I do like listening to music and sometimes occasionally talk shows, you know, audio. I just like listening to things. In fact, if you tune in to the live feed at live.perillo.com, you may even hear me listening to Geeks Radio. You've heard of Geeks Radio, right? Geeksradio.fm? Oh, dude, it's like the only online radio station that you'll want to listen to because it's, well, it's for geeks, made by geeks. And yeah, I, I'm listening to it. Are you? If not, you're not a geek. Well, anyway, uh, if you are listening to audio in uh, some form, uh, but uh, you're not listening to it through a speaker, you're likely listening to it uh, through headphones or earbuds. And uh, I've reviewed a, a few of those in the past, and when I was given the opportunity to take a look at Pure Buds, don't go to purebuds.com, no, purebudsrevolution.com is where you want to go right now if you want to see more information or hear more information about uh, the Pure Buds earbuds. What really makes these different uh, is the way that they were constructed. Uh, the speaker, instead of pointing in actually faces out and is dynamically fed back through the uh, rubber tips. And it doesn't just have one set of rubber tips, but it actually comes with three sets of rubber tips. Uh, they've got one that has been optimized for surround sound. They've got another uh, one, and that would be a set that was optimized for bass. And then the one that, it, uh, that, that should be a general or all-purpose uh, version is the uh, full range. And I thought when I read the literature, I'm like, what? Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. Can it really make that much of a difference? And um, yeah, it, it did. Uh, I listened to a few songs and uh, yeah, they were right. Uh, it, it was definitely a, a full range sound with the, well, the full range uh, buds, the plastic tips or rubber tips, I should say. Very comfortable, by the way. Um, the surround sound, they were a bit trickier to get on, but I could see where they would come into play. Um, you know, if you were like watching some kind of movie that had 5.1 surround sound, you'd want a pretty decent experience. And I didn't think that uh, the rubber tips on earbuds could make that much of a difference, but they do. No joke. Like, the, the sound was never more bassy than when I had the uh, bass, uh, well, I guess what they call the bass boost uh, rubber tips in and I'm like whoa dude like it's a much more rich sound so if I was listening to like uh, electronic music or you know wanted to enhance the bass I would use the bass uh, boosters if I was watching movies or uh, surround sound anything that would have surround sound I would likely use those uh, tips and then general or all-purpose listening I, I think the uh, full range uh, worked the best for me so uh, yeah I was I was pleasantly surprised at the engineering uh, and, and the concept behind Pure Buds in just trying them uh, in a very limited fashion. Uh, you, like With most earbuds, I usually find that uh, I have to be very, very comfortable with that rubber. Like If it's going to be sitting my ear, it, it's got to feel okay. And this certainly feels fine. It feels fine. Things sound good. Like here. Well, of course, I can play uh, music, but you're not going to be able to hear, right? The The biggest challenge is, you know, knowing what buds you want to have in at any given moment. So you can travel with the case that it comes with. It's kind of nice. Got a little pouch there, so you can stick the, the tips in one of the uh, pouches. Or, again, there's a couple of, like, you know, mesh, I should say, mesh pouches inside there. Um... But uh, if you were to, uh, you know, let's say take this on a on an airplane and swap uh, uh, swap buds, uh, you have to be really careful because you have to make sure that the uh, rubber is uh, affixed to the uh, the base of the earbuds uh, properly. Otherwise, it's going to slip, fall off, possibly bounce around. You might lose it, or you really don't want to stick something in your ear if it's been rolling around on a floor or my desk during the average day. But the idea is certainly solid. Being able to uh, get a different sound from your earbuds simply by changing the rubber tips, Pure Buds does deliver. And for $50, if you are going to pick up some kind of earbuds, you might as well get one that's going to give you that kind of range. And honestly, I have not heard of anything out there uh, like Pure Buds. Um, I wasn't sure what to make of it. 
and I do believe that in listening to what I've listened to, they were absolutely right. And I'm just they see it comes with this little sheet inside the uh, the case. You know, it says surround sound, bass boost, full range. It's like okay. And they all look pretty distinctive. Um, you know, they're easy to tell uh, one apart from another. These sets. Uh, I'd be interested in seeing. You know, if Pure Buds has got any other uh, designs uh, on the uh, back burner. Uh, you know, to see if uh, it optimized uh, for any other types of uh, listening experiences. Um, so yeah, um, if you're thinking about earbuds, you might consider Pure Buds for that alone. Pretty. Pretty smart. It does work. Yep, there's that reverse sound technology. I see someone in the chat room here had typed it in. Thank you, by the way, for that. See, I I happen to be streaming this particular review live with a chat room. You know, that's how I like doing things. It makes things more dynamic than, you know, just sound dynamics, like community dynamics. My email address is chris at perillo.com, and our community is at geeks.perillo.com, and the chat room, of course, is, you know, a part of the entire experience that we have with a live video feed, you can be a part of it. All you gotta do is just, uh, all you have to do is stop by and say hello. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.